for that much. I didn't like their production that much. No. No, uh, like, they'd have Rory McDonald pan to the screen and break down the next fight. Yeah. It was just a bit weird. Yeah. Yeah. Have you listened to any podcasts today? Uh, no, not today. Anything oh, happened? Um, did anything happen? Yeah, so Ariel asked Valentina what he thought of Cejudo for calling her out. Right. And um, she said, what did she say? It was funny, whatever she said. I reckon she thinks she could beat him. She's pretty confident. Yeah? Yeah. It, I don't think the fight would ever happen, and I don't think Valentina would have any chance of winning that. Unless she landed something. And then... She could run him with a flying knee like Masvidal. Yeah, it'd be so unlikely. So, she, yeah. she has to hit him with a shot so hard it puts him out, and that's a hell of a big thing. Like Valentina doesn't have one one punch knockout out with her hands. It just it just it's just it's not a good matchup for her anyway, and it's Henry Cejudo. Yeah. There's, yeah, that's. Not even Nunes. No, not even Nunes. Henry would run right through. It's not the girl's fault. They, no, it's just they have never fought. Like, the people Henry is for, all the way through the Olympics and all through his life, just that body of work and the, you know, the strength of the people he's been fighting. Yeah, I think people just think he might win because he's, like, small and quite cringy. But he did beat, like, TJ. Yeah. You'd imagine TJ would beat any of them, so... Yeah, um... I just, as much as I love Valentino, I just don't think it would be a, um... I don't think it would be a competitive or fair match-up at all. Uh, it won't happen. It shouldn't happen. No. 